Hey there folks, today we're looking at the Moto X by Motorola. Um, just a quick rundown on the phone. Uh, we're looking at a 1.7 gigahertz processor, two gigs of RAM. It is a dual core processor, which in my opinion is a little lacking nowadays, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it is a 4.7 inch, I believe it's an AMOLED screen. Yes, AMOLED, and it is 316 pixels per inch. Um, the kind of cool thing about the build those, uh, you can actually order these online and whenever you order them you can customize them in any way you want. So the front you're looking at either a white or black screen and then on the back you can choose from a different array of colors that they have there. Uh, I mean making the phone really customizable and then they even have uh, different colors that you can choose for the volume rocker and the power button there. Uh, to, I mean give it really like a unique look and make them customizable and they're also built here in the USA and then shipped within four days you can pick from 16 to 32 gigs I believe the 16 with the contract is running at 199 um, it is running 4.2.2 right out of the box which is kind of nice um, and then I mean the another thing that makes this phone unique in particular is is the software that's built into it um, a lot of stuff by Motorola itself. Um, it is truly hands-free in the sense that you have uh, Google Now at your hands just by saying, okay, Google Now. And there you go. Um, and then from there, I mean, pretty much any command you could tell Google Now, it'll, it, it'll let you do from there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then it also, whenever the phone is actually off, it'll display, like, Quick messages, I mean, if you have a text message, missed phone call, whatever it may be, uh, the screen will light up in, in only white text as to preserve your battery. Uh, but if the phone is in your pocket or it's face down, it, that won't come up because it can tell that you don't need the phone at that, that moment in time. Um, it is a 10 megapixel camera on the phone. The, the megapixel count is, is fine. Um, it, the lens, in my opinion, is a little lacking, again, um, just from what I've seen on the phone itself. Um, it, the one cool thing about it, though, is, is again, in the software, whenever you want to get to the camera pretty quickly, um, you just flip your wrist twice, um, and then you can hear the, the motor will rev up, or the, the vibration in the phone, and then and it'll start up. So you can kind of hear it there, and then there's the camera itself. Um, which is pretty cool and then you could take pictures by snapping anywhere and it'll focus and then and then take take the picture and it'll do that from any screen so which is pretty cool I mean if you need quick access to your camera since this does not have a proprietary camera button um, the speaker itself is is pretty loud it is still on the back um, which that's whatever. Uh, but, I mean, the speaker is pretty loud whenever you're listening to music or YouTube or even on a phone call itself. It's not up there with the HTC One, but it is still a pretty good speaker in terms. Um, and then, it's 2200 milliamp battery, I don't know if I mentioned that already. Um, which, I mean, isn't, isn't a crazy battery, but at the same time, I feel like Motorola has done a pretty good job in optimizing... Um, the, the software running on here and everything and, and making sure that you're getting the best battery life out of the phone um, and I mean it's been been lasting pretty long so far I don't have too much crazy stuff on here um, it is pretty much it, it looks almost stock Android which I mean very well maybe I'm not 100% sure um, yeah just very smooth even though it is dual core processor there's absolutely no lag in the phone at all it is very smooth and fluid and yeah, I mean that's that's a quick rundown on the Moto X if you have any questions uh, comment and subscribe below and thank you